Today we're going over the new Pipestrello, Peepestrello, I don't really know how to say it, but we have it, that's all that matters. This is the brand new supercar that was just added into GTA Online with the Bounty Hunter update, and even though this car has only been out for a few hours now, I can already tell that this is going to be one of the fastest cars we will ever get in GTA Online. This is a hybrid electric vehicle, so you know it's going to be insanely fast in GTA. Almost every hybrid electric vehicle in this game is insanely fast. Fully upgraded, you can expect this to go well over 150 plus miles per hour which again will make it one of the fastest cars we've ever seen in gta online now if you have gta plus you can head over to the legendary motorsport website and claim this for free and if you don't have gta plus you're still gonna have to wait a whole week just to purchase this and once you do purchase it it's going to be three million dollars is it worth three million dollars we're gonna find out in today's video but just to be clear if you're watching this the week of the 25th this vehicle is not going to be open for the public if you don't have gta plus now with every new vehicle in this game, I expect to be a lot of customization. So let's go ahead and go see what we're working with today. Okay, so heading into the customizations, we have 24 different categories, which almost seems pretty standard for new vehicles in GTA Online recently. Now again, since this car is $3 million, I would sure hope that we have a lot of different options to choose from when customizing this. And as we look at the performance of this vehicle, once again, the top speed once it's fully upgraded, it gets all the way up to four and a half total bars, which doesn't mean a whole lot. But from first glance, this is definitely going to be one of the best vehicles in terms of top speed in the game. So heading into body trim, we get four different options. We get a primary trim, a secondary trim, and then a forged carbon, which honestly, that looks terrible. I can't see why anyone would like this for this vehicle. The primary trim just looks way too much orange. So I'm going to stick with the secondary trim. We get 13 different options for the grill which is actually insane there's a lot of different options to deal with your primary and secondary colors like we always see for vehicles but for right now i'm gonna go with this primary cross grill i think this matches the best i do wish there was a bumper customization because i don't like that carbon on the bumper right there for a hood you get 17 different options i don't think i've ever seen that many options for a hood in this game for whatever reason they really want you to put this forged carbon on this car and i mean looking at all these options i I think I'm just gonna keep it stock. We do get a livery option, which is pretty cool. We get a white stripe with an arrow pointing up. I mean, what is that? I actually do kind of like this overflowed black stripe. This doesn't look terrible. I might actually keep this. A, a lot of weird liveries. We, I mean, this actually kind of looks cool for like a race car. I'm gonna add this overflowed black stripe. I think it does add a little bit to the car. It doesn't look terrible. We have five different options for our mirrors, which is always good. So you can add it. So you can have it with no mirrors whatsoever and then you can add primary, secondary, carbon, and then the forged carbon once again. And I'm not gonna lie, these might be the weirdest spot to put mirrors. Like, what is going on? I'm honestly just gonna keep it at none. It looks so much better without the mirrors. For our respray, I'm gonna keep this orange color. I think this is like the stock color that they have on the website so i'm going with my primary color as orange and then i'm going to add a pearlescent and then i'm going to add a pearlescent of yellow this car looks insane right now i'm loving how this is looking so far i'm liking the way this full roof scoop looks I might go ahead and keep this one on. This doesn't look terrible. Now, since our front bumper is fully carbon, I'm almost eager to put carbon skirts on this thing. Just because like the random carbon in the front of the car just doesn't look good in the rest of the car. So yeah, I'm gonna add the carbon skirts. I think that looks pretty good. You get the option of 21 different splitters. Why is there that many splitter options to, to choose from? I think I'm just gonna go with this non-cutout splitter. It just adds a little bit more to that front splitter that we have. Spoiler, 23 different options. There are just a ton of customizations that you can have for this car. You can really get creative here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this secondary floating wing. We got this black color that adds off to the spoiler itself. $19,000 to add a wing, but it actually looks really nice. This did so much for this vehicle already. I am gonna add a secondary sun strip as well. I think there's a, just a lot of orange and we need a little bit more secondary on this car so this adds pretty nice recently i've been using the stock wheels for like every single new vehicle because they just look the best and yeah i think that's what i'm going to do for this car as well we're going to keep this fully stock but that's what i have for the customizations for the pipe estrello pp estrello however you say it knowing rockstar they probably want you to say pp estrello but let me know what you guys think of this vehicle if you have gta plus definitely go and get it it's a free car you're definitely not going to want to miss it next week when it officially releases is it worth three million dollars 
dollars. It depends on how you look at it. Honestly, for me, I probably wouldn't have bought this knowing the customizations that you can add to it. But if you're looking for the fastest car in the game or one of them, this is definitely a vehicle you're going to want to purchase. The customizations, in my opinion, were pretty lackluster. So that kind of dry that kind of drove me away from the end product of the vehicle. But again, it's all preference. Maybe you enjoy these customizations and the different categories that you can actually add to the car. But again, in my opinion, probably stay away from buying this if it comes up free or in one of the spin the wheel prize cars or whatever definitely go ahead and try to get it but if you guys enjoyed this video you want to see more videos like this please subscribe down below i upload gta videos every single week and i'll see you guys in my next one peace out